I have got like eight weeks now till my first competition and I can feel as the weeks go by, the nerves start increasing. First competition, what's the advice? The seat time. Yeah, seat time. The seat time. The seat time. No, I need every bit of how it's yeah. gonna take. Last year, I took the first steps to get back into competitive driving. This year, I'm going to prove I can make it to grassroots competition. The Drift Cup, I'm going to enter the event. I just want to be able to qualify. I'm working so hard, I need to keep my head in place. You need the money from the work to drift, and then you need the time. As long as you give it everything you've got, then you can be proud when you get out of the car at the end of the day. It's going to be me to prove that I've got what it takes. It feels so good to be back at Goodwood. If you're into motorsports, you're into cars, it's the home of it. Nothing encompasses motorsports and the whole, like the family and the vibe, much like Goodwood does. And it's just a mad journey to think that a year ago, I was here filming the first season of Drift Queen and just seeing how much drifting's almost like exploded. Went from having like a few runs up to the hill to having its own drift arena. So I definitely feel, yeah, I feel at home. People come here to meet up with others. I, I have a thing that I, I have to be more forthcoming with asking people to help me. And that's one of the main things why I'm here this weekend is to see who's about, see who would want to be involved, like to jump on board with me. <laughs> How's the drifting going? It's going all right. I mean, it's definitely coming to me that you need to use that left foot brake a tiny bit, but I'm still learning massively. Yeah, that technique of the left foot brake, you can do this like Japanese style, is like no left foot brake. They do the same thing, but you can see the car, it's like purging, like whap, whap, whap. Because yeah. like, that's the like clutch handbrake, clutch handbrake, clutch handbrake. Like, it's just a different technique. Yeah. The car is being built, so we're going into our first competition. Yeah. In September. I Brad, just, what's the comp? It's called Drift Cup. And do they run tandem or single pass runs? Tandem. Okay, so you'll progress really fast when it comes to tandem. Even if you qualify lower, yeah, it's quite good to go up against the top guys because yeah. you know that they're consistent. You know that ideally, really not going to make a mistake. So you just try to lasso onto them and just run their line, run their angle. So that should be good then. Like running tandem is usually really fun. I thought I would see you in would be a Lamborghini Hurricane. For me, introducing drifting to the Festival of Speed, to being quite tight with Lord March and the Duke of Richmond, we've come away with some amazing awards. And Lord March said, every car you, you bring each year gets more wild, more crazy. Yeah. How do you top that? And I was like, well, I want to build a drift supercar. Let me show you the car. Yeah, the V10, like the team have really enjoyed playing with this. You see we put nitrous and stuff on. Not so much for more power, just for a bit more wow. This like project, which is purely to put smiles on faces at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Just to like draw a dropper and just have fun with it, you know? Make some noise for a man like with that. First competition, what's the advice? Obviously the first thing the judges are watching is your <laughs> And then the initiation, bang, like if you stuff up that initiation, straight away the rest of your run is already heavily deducted on points. That's the first impressions last, you know, and then if you can pull it through the rest of the section, the smaller faults won't be deducted as heavily as a bad initiation. I'm definitely kind of ignoring my feelings at the moment. I can feel as the weeks will go by, the nerves are going to start increasing. Ahmed Daham is one of the stars of the Middle East hugely popular drifting scene a multiple champion and Guinness World Record holder for the longest twin drift. To me, the most important thing, not just in drifting, in any motorsport discipline, is seat time. The more seat time you get, the more you get used to the car, the more you can do testing, the better you will be. To me, what you are doing, starting with a low power car, I think is the best thing. Although the S15 is one of the best drift cars in the world, but yeah but as a stock and basic car and then start, you know, progressing from over there. 
So I put a hydro handbrake in it. I <laughs> That's away, the first like, thing. That's the first thing you should do. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. You're supposed to be encouraging me. Exactly. No, I am. I am. That's a, that's a good step, hydraulic handbrake. <laughs> to me, I'm sure when you install the hydraulic handbrake, you get to understand how it works, mm -hmm. how you get more lock in the car, how, how that works, and that, uh, how you will benefit. I mean, one of my main questions to you was, how did you even get started? I mean, you've gone all the way from grassroots to full brand new car. I was building uh, race cars and drift cars and tuning the cars, so, and I had to like balance in between university, working and drifting. And time, yeah, I, I, I barely had time. I think that's one of the biggest struggles everyone goes through. That's the one thing that I'm finding at the minute is like you need the mo you need the money from the work to drift. So, so exactly. it's like, so you're like, you need ah, the time. Ah. And then, exactly, and then you need the time. So if you're passionate about something, that's the path you have to go. Now it's my full-time job. Come on then, you've got to show me what you've spoken about. Yeah, this definitely. Image. Let's go Let's check go. out the car. We've lightened the car. You've got uh, carbon fiber panels, carbon fiber hoods. Everything's carbon fiber, carbon fiber doors. So we can lose some weight from the car. Yeah. Originally, it's 1,820 kilograms. With all this, we were able to get it down to 1,450 inside. You literally just cut everything. 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 Cut everything. We stripped down a brand new RCF. Yeah. Off one of, we don't need roll cage. And yeah, it was, it, was, it was a tough job, but uh, it turned out nice. Seeing those guys do what they do, it's absolutely amazing to watch. But it's all just starting to hammer home the fact that it's going to be me in the driving seat having to prove that I've got what it takes. Jolene Sharp, AKA Jojo, has been drifting for six years now and instructing for five. She's currently building her own competition car to compete in the 2020 British Drift Championship. I was going to ask you, it's like, we're doing drift cup, yeah. and they have tandem battle. So at some point, I'm gonna have to grab you because I've heard that if you get someone that you trust, mm -hmm. and if we go out in the IS 200s, I'm not gonna feel so <laughs> bad about knocking the front end off it because yeah. I need to. I need to learn how to do that chase and lead situation. Basically, it's it's having trust in the lead driver mm. and just really, really pushing your limits without crashing into them, it's following their line. Yeah. And you'll be fine because you'll have mastered a bit of left foot braking by then. So <laughs> you'll be able to slow the car right down. And if you think you're getting a bit closer, a little bit of left foot braking, you want to ga gain some ground, jump off the left foot, all the power you want, a few little clutch tickles here and there. Bit, learn from me, I break things all the time. I've got quite an aggressive driving style. Then you'll be a force to be reckoned with when it comes to drift cup, no doubt. Dude, if I qualify, I will be buzzed, genuinely. You will, you will. You've, you've got me and all the other guys as your mentors, so there's no reason why you can't. I'm, I'm going to trust you on that. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. James Dean first discovered his love for drifting at 10 years old. He won his first Irish Pro Drift Championship at 16 and was crowned European champion the same year. Hello. Ah, yeah. how are you? How are you finding the hill this year? Last two years, I had the RX-7 here, which is really small. And you could really get big angle everywhere because it's short and fits in this narrow. <laughs> But this, I realized yesterday for the first run how big it actually is. Like, my front wheel is on the grass on the inside and my back tire is on the grass on the outside. So, fighting hard to keep it on track. It's a lot of fun and it's a lot faster too. I need to have a chat with you about my S15. First competition in September. Obviously, prep is going to be a big part of it. You probably heard from a lot of people that you need to try to get seat, seat time. Seat time, seat time, seat time. That's seat all time. I And how is that going? What's, yeah, good. What's the plan? The plan is I need to now get on a track because if I'm going to do any sort of competition, I feel like it always comes back down to be able to linking turns. I do know the track where I learned how to drift yeah. at Water Rest Hill. I'd be happy to try to help out if, if you want. That'd be amazing if you could, because like every bit of help is yeah. It's really fun seeing the drift guys being let loose. Like in this sort of arena here, they can just throw a few party tricks and really like get the crowd going. And the fact that it's putting drifting on the map and all of these people that may not necessarily have known who they were before, they 100% definitely do now. If we do manage to get out to Ireland and have some seat time with James Dean, like. That is so invaluable because it's just the same mantra, seat time, seat time, seat time. That's all I keep hearing. And I just know now that it's down to me.
We are on our road trip to Ireland. My dad's managed to actually be able to come to the track and see my progression. Clutch and handbrake, no. Back in the bar, back in the bar. I'm still trying to learn and I get super frustrated when I don't get something right. <laughs> 